Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the MTM clay pigeon thrower and I'm just going to show you the field and stream clay pigeon thrower which I've already done a review on. Uh, I, pick, I ordered this one from Cabela's. It was about seven bucks. Cheaper than this one. Uh, I'm going to do a full review on them. I'm going to compare and contrast them. Uh, I'm going to toss a couple of clays, throw them at the range this weekend and just show you which one feels better and then which one would be a better investment for you guys to purchase if you are interested in buying a clay pigeon thrower. Uh, first off with the Field and Stream, I've had this one for probably about a month, two months now. Uh, I have yet to really have a, a good day at the range with this. Clays often break off in it which is really annoying. You can see all the black in there from the clays. And then it's just scratch everything just for me hitting the ground if they're trying to get the clay shards out of there. Uh, I've used this one before. I borrowed it from a from another shooter at the range. And this could be the best throw I've ever used. It it's so versatile on how you want to throw your pigeon. You can get them far out there, you get them high up, you can really you can really do anything you want with this one. Also, this pigeon thrower, it requires you to usually bend this back every now and again just to loosen it up, which is, it, it's that it's not worth it. Not You don't have, you shouldn't have to do that. Or this one, you don't even have to. It just slides right in and it pretty much molds to the, to the shape of the clay pigeon once it's in. They pretty much have the same flexibility in the neck. Uh, be that the field and stream one has a little more. I don't, I, I don't know if that's good because it might have too much whip on it, which gives it maybe too much power, which is why the uh, the clays don't always have a good flight when they come out. So uh, this one is also made in China, whereas the MTM is made in the USA. So just for the sake of our country, you should buy the you should buy the MTM one. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. Just me throwing a couple of pigeons through them, which one is a better flight pattern, and just what type of pigeon you should put in there. The decomposable, or not the decomposable, the biodegradable, or just the standard ones that don't biodegrade. So, once again, it's the MTM clay pigeon thrower that I will be mainly focusing it on. I'll show you a couple attempted throws at the field and stream, although I most likely will not be lucky to get a couple good throws off. Hey guys, today we have the MTM Clay Pigeon Thrower and the Field and the Stream one. Just going to be contrasting them. Uh, I like the MTM one better. It's got a better flight for the pigeons. And then the Field and the Stream one. This one always, I always think it's a little bit harder to throw. I don't know why, but they're same concept, same design, same weight. Uh, I'm not going to be throwing them. I got a bum elbow. So here, Jackson's going to throw them. I'll load it up for you. There's a couple different ways that you can throw it. Just do it the regular way. See, and throw it. See that? I mean, it's a fair, it's a fair flight for the pigeon. It'll do. And I'm show the field and stream one. And if you could just see here, give me this one really quick. I think it might be maybe this pigeon has a lot more like leeway room. It's a lot looser, and then this one's pretty, pretty tight in there. So that could be it. Let's throw that one. That's fine, but they're always a little wob uh, a little wobbly. Uh, there's different ways to throw them too. Do you like the baseball swing with that one? Put it upside down. That gets them. Pretty much, it just depends like where your release is. Release it straight out. It's gonna go. Straightforward. Um, so here, try with the clay. Oh, the, uh, the clay version. The uh, field and stream one. See if you get it with that one. Uh, keep getting your left in here. See, it's just got it's it's a lame lame duck flight for it. I'll try to throw one. See if I can. Next, I got a bum elbow though, but. If you get it out there, what you want to do is regular side step in, flip the wrist. 
it's fine. I'm really just here just trying to have some fun. Here, toss me the feeling stream. Just trying to have some fun. It really doesn't matter about flight pattern for me. Any of my friends, like, just want to get out there, we'll get serious and actually toss them, but it's just all about trying to hit the pitch and just have a little fun. See, same throw, same motion. This one, I don't know why, it's just got a, it just doesn't release as good as the MTM, so. If you want to buy one, I recommend investing in the MTM if you're getting, getting a hand thrower. But you can also just toss them up by hand. It still gets them out there, just like a frisbee. So it's still pretty easy to do that. It doesn't go as far, but it gets them out there pretty good. A little wobbly, but still, if that's your last resort, I recommend doing that. But yeah, overall, I recommend buying the MTM. It's a lot, a lot better. So thanks for watching.